Kip K presents Magnet Mania. I love magnets, and they come in all shapes and sizes, like discs, cubes, rings, bars, even balls. And they can be found in all kinds of household items like speakers, hard drives, microwave ovens, compasses, toys, doorbells, walruses, microphones, guitar pickups, motors, telephone earpieces, electric can openers, refrigerator doors, cabinet doors, CD, DVD drives, and more. If you're not familiar with how magnets work, you can check the description of this video. There are some really practical uses for magnets. For example, let's say you have a screwdriver, but you want it to be magnetized so it can pick up small screws or hold screws in place when you're putting them in. All you need to do is take a neodymium magnet and swipe it on the screwdriver in the same direction as many times as you want. The more you do it, the more it'll become magnetized. And if you ever want to demagnetize the screwdriver, swipe it in the opposite direction. Some batteries can be a little bit tricky to take out in small electronic devices, like this remote control. An ordinary magnet will grab those batteries and pull them right out. This works great for small batteries, like the little button cells. The next time you change your oil, take that brand new oil filter and take a strong magnet and stick it on the bottom. Tiny metal shavings that just about every engine produces will now stick to that magnet instead of possibly passing through to the engine. Okay, how about some fun uses for magnets? They can actually supercharge devices that have motors, like this electric toothbrush. Sticking a neodymium magnet on the side doubles the RPM of this toothbrush. Sticking another one on increases it even more. Now, I'm not sure how fast you want a toothbrush to go, but it might work good with something small like a little fan. Just a fun way to use magnets to supercharge a device. Did you know that dollar bills use magnetic ink to prevent counterfeiting? You can test this by taking an ordinary dollar bill and a neodymium magnet. Holding it up to the dollar bill will attract the ink to the magnet. Unfortunately, this doesn't work with all bills. Take, for example, a million dollar bill. There's no magnetic ink in them. I mean, who would want to counterfeit a million dollar bill? And a fun little project that uses neodymium magnets and ball bearings is a Gaussian rifle, or I like to call it Magnetic Linear Accelerator. You need a small track like a piece of PVC, and you need five ball bearings and two heavy-duty neodymium disc magnets. Lay four of the ball bearings in place, followed by two of the magnets, and then take the last ball bearing and push it into the two magnets. This will fire the end ball bearing at a high rate of speed. And if nothing else, your cat will have fun with it. Well, there's some fun and practical uses for magnets. Oh, and there's one more thing. There's some pretty cool stuff you can do with magnets and batteries. So I had an Energizer 6-volt lantern battery. I decided to dig into it to see what was inside. Go to KipK.com to see what I found inside. And a fun project you can do with a magnet and a battery. Tell us in the comments what cool uses you have for magnets. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.